Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green and I am the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Womblies. Today we're taking on Exeter City and I'm going to talk to you about boredom and creativity and maybe a little bit about what I believe to be the meaning of life. But first, let me introduce you to the Wimbley Womblies for the day. We're starting kind of not our B team because I don't like to label um, them that way. Didn't Sarcom used to be a swoodly pooper? Anyway, he's an enemy now. Um, but uh, we are starting a, a group of people. Basically, I wanted to give some new players a chance. I wanted to see, are there any extraordinary personalities that maybe we haven't met yet? Are there any Wimbledon heroes? Wait, somehow my, uh, my, my match changes didn't, <laughs> didn't come through, and we're starting all the same players. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst. Oh no, we are starting. It's just um up top, up top. We've we've still got we've still got other John Green. Ah, eh, whatever. We'll leave him in. He is the best player on our team. Um, yeah. So we are starting some new players. Um, because I want to give some people a chance to shine. Maybe there's a hero out there that we just aren't acquainted with yet. Um, because he's a 56 skill level and passes like that. All right. So um, a number of people have requested that I talk about boredom and how not to be bored. Um, which seems a strange thing to me. I thought boredom had sort of ended with the internet, that uh, the age of boredom, that which, which lasted for, you know, most of post-industrial revolution uh, human history, um, had, uh, you know, had, had reached its, like, abrupt and dramatic end with, um, oh, get in! Um, with uh, all of this, uh, you know, endless distraction that we have now of Angry Birds. Like, if you're angry, if you're bored for even a moment, it seems to me that now you can, uh, you can turn to, to your phone or, or whatever your device is, and you can be free from the tyranny of boredom. I think, like, boredom is, is the thing that we as, what? 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 What's, what's the issue? Oh, I'm sorry. I hope that you're not badly hurt. And I feel bad that you inexplicably shave the top part of your head and you leave the rest of it just seems like an odd choice, but good on you. I hope you're not hurt. Um, yeah, that's our ball. What? Oh, that's not like us. We're not usually that sporting. Um, so, I, yeah, I, I mean, I, but I guess, I guess boredom is still a thing. I think the reason that we fear boredom, I think, like, the reason that we fear it maybe in some ways, like, in this, like, deep, deep, in, intense way that makes us, uh, you know, pull out our phones uh, to check Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and Angry Birds every three seconds that there isn't something else happening to us is, um, is because we are, you know, deeply afraid of that, that abyss. Um, so I, I, would, I would actually, you know, whatever lies behind and underneath boredom, whatever it is that, uh, that, that, that we're afraid to look at, um, that um, that boredom sort of like forces forces upon us or whatever, I'm, but I'm really fascinated by how like intensely and I'm I'm like this too how intensely we fear boredom. So my real advice to avoid boredom is is to try to develop a, a, I guess like a tolerance to it. David Foster Wallace used to like to say that that what what lay on the other side of boredom was this intense. Um, uh, intense, incredibly fulfilling uh, awareness and, and sense of connection and, um, uh, you know, just consciousness. Um, I, don't, I don't know the extent to which that's true because I so rarely let myself become bored out of that, uh, out of that intense fear of it. But I think, like, I, I, I do think that it's not, it's not such a bad or evil thing. We definitely are not as good. With this, uh, with this lineup. Oh, by the way, we got uh, we got Brownie in goal today. Seb Brown, the very same Seb Brown who saved uh, saved two penalties against Luton Town in 2011 to send AFC Wimbledon into the Football League. Um, so I thought I'd give him a chance in goal. So far, he's performing well. But to be fair, um, none of the other teams ever get really like shots on goals against us. So that's that's helped us a lot. Um, but I wasn't particularly impressed with uh, Warner Chilcott's um, display. Oh, that's a beautiful pass with Warner Chilcott's display. Get it! Oh! Yeah, 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 bomba! Yeah, 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 bomba! I didn't write the rest of the words. I didn't write the rest of the words, but what a beautiful goal. Yeah, yeah, bomba! Oh, it's beautiful. Sorry, Meredith. I can't help myself. I'm excited. Do you even know that song, Meredith? Oh, she does know the song. Um, oh, I was just, I was hoping he would score one goal all season, and then he scored one in his first start. That guy, he's got a, he's got a future with this club. Um, that was, that, oh, that's so exciting. Um, can you get the cross in? 
Oh, are we going to have two? Are we going to have... No. <laughs> no, we're not, because that was an epically bad header by uh, Jack Art. Um, Jacquard? Jacou? Jacquard? I don't know. Anyway, my advice when it comes to boredom is to is to kind of like take being bored as a good sign in some ways. It's a sign that you are um, alive and uh, and not like completely a like tool of the distractions which are trying to uh, trying to like deaden you to 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 the world. Um, but I, I, I think also like uh, it was the, this person was like, I feel guilty about being bored and I feel like I should be doing more things. Um, so I guess my other comment about that was that in order to really uh, make decisions about what you should be doing with your day, whether it's being, you know, super productive in terms of like writing resumes or applying for colleges or, or you know, doing your, doing your job to the best of your ability or whatever. Um, I mean, you have to decide what, what the point of life is um, or what you think the point of life is. And then once you've decided that, I think a lot of that, a lot of that stuff sort of flows naturally from that awareness. Like a lot of it flows naturally from your decision about what you want your life to be. So if you want your life to be, because there's, uh, you know, I don't know. It doesn't, to me, to me, it doesn't really matter if the meaning of life is constructed or derived. Like it doesn't matter if um, you're trying to understand what, what God wants from you, or you're trying to like construct meaning with a belief that there is no, uh, there is no sort of like greater organizing principle of what meaning, sh what, what, you know, what meaning should be all great pass. All that matters to me is like what meaning I find when I get there. Um, and so, you know, you have to find like, what is it that really makes you feel alive and excited? And, and then is that something that's going to, in your opinion, make the world a better, more interesting place for you to live and for other people to live? And if it is, then you're in, um, that's just not, that's not a good example of how to put your hand on someone's shoulder. It, 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 yeah, 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 Bamba's hand just seems to float above Jack Art's shoulder. I, I almost, I mean, I feel like we can't lose Jack Art just because of his, his name. It's the most, there's something about it that's so beautiful. Um, so, yeah, I think it has to come from, like, a, a thought about what the point of being um, alive is. And that is a difficult thing to, like, I'm not saying that's an easy thing to, like, just settle upon. Um, but I do think that there are, you know, lots of different approaches to that. You know, there's lots. Well, let's do let's do sharing ham, um, green eggs and sharing ham, as we call them. Um, I think there. But you know, once you have decided, I think the point of life is to make a lot of money, or I think um, the point of life is to try to help uh, people. Then what you should be doing with your day kind of flows naturally from that. And you don't have to. It's not like you have to decide one point. So you just have to sort of organize your priorities. So if you think the point of life is helping people, but then you also understand that like part of the point of your life is enjoying yourself and relaxing or giving yourself time to be to to be creative or whatever. Terrible pass. Um, then that's you know that that can be you can incorporate that into your into your 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 life experience. Um, so I don't, I'm, I try not to be hard on myself for, for instance, like watching soccer. I think like that's, you know, yes, that time that I'm watching soccer would be better spent on some level making videos or, um, you know, or doing, or, or volunteering or being at a soup kitchen or something. But, um, but I, I also understand that like I need to, to do that, to do this stuff, to like do the stuff that relaxes me and makes me feel um, makes me feel good and uh, makes, you know, allows me to kind of get my energy back in order to do the other stuff that I like doing and that I hope, you know, is is worthwhile work. So I do, I, I, I don't think you should be hard on yourself for being, um, like, human uh, or for, you know, having, oh, get in, for having your, 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 your first world problems um, because they're still, you know, they're still real just because they're, just because they're first world problems. Um yeah, in general, I think the theme of the theme of all AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Wombly videos is don't be so hard on yourself. You're fine, um, but at the same time, do motivate yourself a little bit. Uh, I, I, you know, I have I struggled for a long time with self motivation, and sometimes I still do, and I often feel like I'm not as productive as as I should be, and I feel uh, like guilty about my lack of productivity. But um, but then if you actually if generally, I find that if you look back and say, well, what have I actually done in the last three months? You'll find that, that you did a lot. And maybe it wasn't stuff that you got paid for. It wasn't stuff that tons of people saw, but you still, 
you know, you, you participated in stuff that mattered to you, you t helped take care of your family, you worked, you did homework, whatever it is. Um, and, and so the question just for me just becomes like, well, how can I do more of that stuff when it's the stuff that um, I need or want to do? How can I motivate myself to do more of it? And then how can I be like less hard on myself about the, stu the other stuff? Oh, speaking of being hard on yourself, you've got to get that on frame, sir. I think I was offside anyway, but that's, that's a... You know, Meredith, I don't want to criticize the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Wombly second team, but they don't have the kind of vision and offside awareness that I've come to expect from the teammates in life and in love, John Green and John Green. By the way, uh, Matt Smith, um, f uh, former and future Time Lord, is starting for, uh, for AFC Wimbledon, and I was really hoping that he was going to score. But it looks like the only goal may, may, may come from Yabamba, which admittedly is still a victory because what a, what a great moment that was in, in Wimbly Wombly history. Um, we're early you know, in, in the history of this team. But you've got to be proud of where we've come so far, although we did, of course, lose to Tottenham. But we have not lost a, a game in the league, which is pretty amazing. Come on, get it up. Pass. Pass. Yes to that guy. And then you get it on. Oh, why can't you get the ball on frame? That was a great opportunity. So you just pass to that guy. He's in the box one time. Mm. First touch. Whoa. Look at Ryan Gosling's haircut. That is a disaster. Wow. Yikes. No wonder they substituted him out. I don't blame them. I don't want to see that guy on the pitch. Um, yeah, so I guess, that's, I guess that's my response to boredom. I don't have a... Um, but I certainly don't have that figured out. And I wish, I wish that I spent less time um, on my devices trying to be... Uh, you know, trying to be entertained or distracted from whatever, uh, whatever deep abyss um, so terrifies me that I am unwilling to even glance at it. Uh, because that is, uh, like, one of the hallmarks, the, the bad hallmarks of the Internet age. I think there are a lot of good things. I love the way that the Internet has connected us and made us into communities and made it possible for us to, uh, you know, Americans to watch AFC Wimbledon games and... Um, you know, all of that stuff that would have been impossible 10 years ago. Uh, but at the same time, there is some, there is some non-ideal stuff as well. Keep that ball in bounds, sir. Good job. Good job, Mr. Smith. Oh, it was Matt Smith. Come on, come on, come on. Get that ball. Get it to Mr. Smith. No. Oh, we just are not very good. Um, it's kind of, it's hard to complete passes. You know, there's just a lot of, a number of frustrations. But can we get the ball through there? Kind of. Get in! Oh! We've got a chance. In the 90th minute, I like, you know what? I like that we're still attacking in the 90th minute, even though we're up 1-0. That, that shows me the Wimbledon spirit off the post, and then the goalie almost lets it go in off his back. It would have been my favorite kind of goal, an own goal. But instead, I am hiding inside the net and then magically walking through it to another Wimbledon victory. Sorry, Exeter City. Life is hard and full of disappointments. Thank you for watching. Don't be afraid of being bored. Best wishes.